meticulously various programs from the Department of English and Foreign Languages. The Center for Literary, Cultural Studies and Collaboration with our Department of English and Foreign Language, Dwaradhyaya University, along with the collaboration of Gandhi Spriti and Darshan Spriti, Ministry of Culture, Government of India, celebrating this program, Maha Kavi means Maha Atma. And it is an excellent word coined by the organizers, or they might have pulled out from the appropriate forum for this thing, because both uh, Bharati and Maha Kavi uh, Mahatma, both were entirely different personalities, but both had similar goals and vision. I am uh, very happy that uh, this kind of move has been taken by our university officials, because I have a long association with the Mahatma Gandhi Foundation, various foundations. My PhD is from Savagram, which is called as uh, Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences, attached to the Kasuba Hospital in Savagram. Both our MBBS, MD, and PhD students, we have to wear khadi pant as, as well as shirt, and you can't have non veg in the entire campus. So, in the beginning, we thought it's a punishment, but after that, we realized it is an important aspect because every Friday, we have to go to the ashram. Gandhi Ashram for the prayer and you have to devote certain number of uh, hours for the peace and the development of our psychological you know, uh, problems which has to be solved. So the meditation and yoga, it is a routine thing for the people associated with that uh, institute and during this time I visited a number of times to Delhi for various activities and I stayed in the guest house of uh, Gandhi Spriti and Darshan Spriti, New Delhi. If you go and say that, you know the importance of the simplicity. You don't get the, you know, that, you know, comfort like what you are getting it from the three-star hotel or five-star hotel. And, you know, it will reflect, you know, how you have to live and how you can have your peace of mind. And these are the things which is very, very much important for these days. And uh, the organizers have written about the important aspect of the area of studies will represent the facts, encouraging critical thinking and creative thinking, which is an important aspect of education under Industries 5. In Bharatiya University, we have reduced Industries 4. And also, now I am happy that you are bothering about Industries 5, which is your critical thinking as well as the creative thinking. Now, the education has to match with industrial development and also for the societal growth. Unless education is, uh, you know, reaching the society, there is no importance and there is no need of such education. So, you have almost seen that every time our education belongs to the society and uh, each and every one of us are responsible for making our uh, innovative thinking to reach the society in various forms. If the person is a scientist, it has to go as a scientific product and if there is a, some language development or language studies and you have to change the skill of the individuals in such a way the students will be suitable for the type of job that they are going to have. Uh, the Memorandum of Understanding is going to be signed between the Department of English and Foreign Language, Bharatiya University, and Gandhi Smriti and Darshan Smriti is for offering short-term certificate course in dialogue studies. The short-term certificate courses are very, very important in the education policy. In uh, Bharatiya University, we introduced many job-oriented certificate courses and diploma courses while we are changing our curriculum to Industries 4 or Education 4. The type of job that we are having it now is not going to exist after three years. 
So what kind of uh, language skill the individual should have and what kind of productivity the person should have and what kind of personality is going to have that is going to be very, very different. So the orientation program also going to be organized on non-violent communication and this will be organized for the students and scholars of our university departments. I request you to extend it to our affiliated colleges also. I am also happy the center will celebrate the upcoming World Peace Day on 21st September 2021 for creating awareness and also the national level seminar on Gandhi studies and peace literatures which will be giving lot of emphasis to the students regarding the peace and also this organization uh, in the month of October commemorating the 152, 152nd birth anniversary of our father of nation Mahatma Gandhi. So like that there are so many you know, activities are going to happen and the department and affiliated colleges marking the World Science Day for Peace and Development as directed by UNESCO on 10th November 2021. I am very confident my faculty members in the English department, they are the role model for the model department, how to take the department in the past two direction and uh, not only to count the number of programs, each program is very serious and uh, result oriented. I am just seeing the result of each and every program organized by every faculty member which is resulting with some outcome which is an important aspect in the modern science. Uh, I am thankful to uh, the director Gandhi Smriti and Darshan Smriti and various other uh, uh, you know officials from uh, um, Harijan Sevak Sang and uh, executive committee member of uh, GSDS Dr. Shankar Kumar Sanyal and uh, Dr. Meera Sundararajan and Veda uh, uh, Kundu and so many other people are going to participate in this program and creating the awareness to our students, to our faculty members in such a way and we will turn our teachers into your model teachers and the students into your model student so that the education has to reach the society through the honesty and also by having the good habits. I, I, I wish this program all success. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for the thoughtful words. Next, I would like to welcome our respected Guruji, Dr. P. Nagaraj, the Associate Professor and Head, Department of English, the main brain behind the successful ventures of the department to address the gathering. Please. Thank you. Very good morning to all. Uh, at the outset, I am really happy in uh, presenting the keynote address on this uh, wonderful location, the Department of English, collaborating with the uh, Ministry of uh, Culture, the Government of uh, India. At the outset, I am really happy to share some of the ideologies put forth by our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Sir, Professor P. Kalidaj. We the Department of English and Foreign Languages work on the ideologies propagated by our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir. In the sense, uh, I am being so much so uh, captivated by the few of the uh, terms you know, currently being used by our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir. In the sense, uh, in the recent uh, uh, paper, you no know, sir has published that use the term uh, disruptive technologies. In the sense, he wanted all the departments of the university to explore all the possibilities of technological aspects that should be explored with the subject of study which the student and the teachers are uh, uh, encountering with. He always do insist the faculty members and give us an awareness that 
we all live in a world of information communication technological revolution world where where the knowledge gets revolutionized each and every minute so having his vision of you know this technological revolution and this disruptive technological uh, ideologies into consideration the department of english and foreign languages guided by our honorable vice chancellor and his visionary statement of 2030 we are working uh with the framework of all the 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 ideologies put forth by our honorable vice chancellor uh, our uh, honorable vice chancellor sir and this is again one more initiative as uh, rightly termed by uh, the usage the the knowledge explosion and the how this knowledge explosion with reference to the technological intervention and how far we know our subject of english language and literature now how we are extending this uh, uh, this uh, subject knowledge by the intervention of technology and exploring all the other possibilities that could be uh, integrated into the main frame uh, of study in that way this particular uh, initiative is going to be again a milestone uh, i would say uh, in the sense uh, we are uh, in the world of you no know, revolutionary uh, uh, i think the ideologies and the time has come like you know where i could see that many of the scholars at present are like you know working on uh, in the research perspectives on like you know how to integrate their main frame of english literature studies into peace literature particularly concentrating on the peace literature and peace communication as well so this uh, the is the integration of you know peace literature with technological uh, revolutionary uh, perspectives it going to be a, a new frame of an ideological thought i think you know i had taken from uh, the the thought process of our honorable vice chancellor sir and this initiative as rightly pointed out by the coordinator dr ashita vargis that this in initiative is the outcome of the the great ideology and the vision statement of our honorable vice chancellor sir where he had requested uh, he had requested each and every individual faculty members to explore all the possibilities of you know the technological intervention into the main frame of study in such way that you no know, we could extend the knowledge resources in a in a best suitable way to the current living context in such in a such a context this integration uh, i think you know it's very very relevant in the current context and some of the programs that we gonna initiate from here on like you know i was really happy when uh, i happened to hear that you no know, uh, professor meera sundar uh, rajan like you know she had come forward uh, openly and in her in her uh, email to us you no know, she had stated that you no know, she wished to collaborate with the department of english on very many uh, possible uh, ways in the sense like you know on subject related issues like you know post colonial studies and modern uh, post modern uh, literary perspectives as well so in that way you know i am really happy that uh, the members are coming uh, all the expertise uh, in the uh, in the subject and the subject related um, uh, information uh, resource resourceful personalities are coming to this main frame and they are going to orient ourselves not only on this particular day but also in the, uh, in the coming uh, months so in that sense you know, i'm uh, really happy that and i wish to acknowledge the fact that you now all my fellow colleagues uh, professor uh, dr padmanabhan uh, senior member of the department uh, the way you know he had coordinated with the, the uh, program and all the other faculty members dr david atudraj dr vinod kumar dr kashiraj all uh, with all the uh, their intervention into this uh, particular uh, uh, program and uh, and my appreciation to the coordinator dr rashita vargish like you know uh, and how she had worked out all these days and my research scholars as well so i'm really happy that this is again going to be a, a milestone in the department of english and foreign languages where uh, i'm really happy when I, when i came to know that you no know, from the uh, ministry of culture they are gonna uh, give us a free uh, online certificate courses 
uh, in the coming days on case uh, literature studies as well so uh, at the end uh, i appreciate all the members and uh, um, i'm really grateful and honored and privileged that the department of english and foreign languages under the guidance and the support of our honorable vice chancellor that we are following his footsteps and you know we are exploring all the, the possibilities that could be explored for the betterment of the uh, learning community at large so thank you thank you so much for the opportunity thank you thank you so much sir next in the schedule was addressed by the director of gandhi smriti and darshan samiti sri deep shankar sridhyan but because of some technical difficulties in his place he isn't able to join us today but he has conveyed his regard to all the dignitaries and wished on best of his wishes to all the program oh. next i would like to invite dr vyadabhyas kundu the program program officer in gandhi smriti and darshan samiti who has been working extensively on non violent communication non violent conflict resolution enhancement of conflict comp competencies and media literacy and has conducted workshops and delivered lectures on these areas for different universities schools judicial academies police academies and other groups i now request him to address the gathering please sir thank you and a very good morning to everyone uh, on behalf of gandhi smriti and darshan samiti we are really honored to to have joined today with uh, the bharti hari university conference and collaboration uh, as we start this gandhi peace non peace non violence and art dialogue study center Uh, uh, respected uh, Dr. Shankar Kumar Sanyal sir, our very very honourable executive committee member, uh, respected Prof uh, Professor P. Kali Raj, the Vice Chancellor of the Bharti Hari, Professor P. Nagraj, Dr. Asima, all the faculty members of the Bharti Hari University and the research scholars. It's a great honour for Gandhi Smriti and Darshan Samiti to have. Uh, joined hands with uh, the university which was uh, founded by the great poet subramanian bharti ji and it is wonderful that you keep up the name the mahakavi meets the mahatma so the whole legacy the whole idea of uh, philosophy which uh, the mahatma and the mahakavi the mahakavi evoked uh, should be reflected through this whole work that we are planning to do as part of the gandhi peace non violence and art dialogue study center Uh, for the information of all the uh, esteemed guests today, Gandhi Smriti has been motivating and working with different universities and colleges across the country to promote this Gandhi Peace and Non-Violence Studies Center. As part of that, like we have been working with the National Law University, Rachi, the Saint Teresa's College in Andalusia, the National Institute of Technology, Arunachal Pradesh, so many other institutions and universities. the whole idea is how we can integrate the gandhian philosophy and values in the new emerging areas of knowledge and to promote interdisciplinary uh, research action research which are really beneficial to uh, to the communities to the people at large the one of the major focus of this whole effort is how we can motivate young people to work and to not just research but also to some kind of an action oriented work to take up different events in awareness programs to further gandhian philosophy and practical apply, uh, applications of different values and ideas and the ethics which the father of the nation stood for in fact we have been promoting large number of this academic research work innovative events as part of these and as i said and underline one of the major overarching goal is to promote the practical application of gandhian philosophy right in the field and also of course as part of the academic activities we have been trying to motivate uh, various students to do as part of their masters degree different kind of thesis 
related to these some of these ideas we have been also helping some of the phd scholars with their phds on some bringing in some new dimensions of uh, gandian philosophy in contemporary society so i'm sure we will have some interesting uh, work to do with you and of course the affiliated colleges in fact uh, when we are talking here we have been just uh, very recently uh, signed an mou with uh, the uh, khwaja mohinuddin chisti uh, university in uttar pradesh in lucknow and as part of that they have introduced uh, not for oh, our course on non violent communication in both graduation and post graduation level as part of their studies of mass communication uh, so uh, you see uh, we have been doing this we have this program on non violent communication which dr asita and uh, even the vice chancellor has talked about and this is very interesting because it has got a major global traction at this stage it is this course which is available free of course uh, 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 freely in our website is also available at the mindgov website also it is available in english hindi tamil uh, malayalam gujarati and manipuri and we are working to develop in various other languages and also globally it has been uh, translated into kyrgyz and swahili and lot of people from kyrgyzstan and U uganda in various schools we have introduced we have we also work closely with various other universities both in south asia and the other parts of asia and the european countries and the african countries and we have worked on different dimensions of peace and conflict resolution and uh, active non violence non violent communication here as we are talking about we are going to work with the department of uh, you know english and foreign languages one of the major focus could be to promote the whole idea which has been having a major global uh, discourse in today's world is on the as on, on in the field of peace linguistics so we can do some different kind of programs as part of that we can do some different programs to promote volunteerism both at the research level but also 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 at the you know motivating young people to take up pro social constructive gandian constructive work in their communities so that the people become all the young people comes closer to the communities at large so that is also there also here uh, let me tell you that uh, gandhi smriti helps and does what we call as hand holding with all these study centers that we have motivated to institute and more such study centers uh, with different other universities are in the so uh, what we do is we work with closely with the uh, coordinators and the uh, and the faculty members of that particular college or universities and work to develop some meaningful programs which are sustainable also one of the important goal is to develop leadership amongst the young students so we have as part of the structure of course the uh, coordinators which are the faculty members are there but also we have the organizing secretaries the communication secretaries in different colleges and universities but the students themselves take the lead to take up interesting program like for instance uh, on the 16th we are of uh, organizing this uh, program on peer mediation with the st teresa's college and one of their students who is the organizing secretary of that is directly in touch with me to coordinate the whole program so we are with this whole all these activities we are trying to develop the you know the 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 the, the leadership skill among the students that is also an overarching goal there also the whole goal is to promote you know uh, as uh, my chancellor sir, sir talked about this short term courses according to the ugc guidelines so we are open to having different kind of interesting short term courses short term programs which will help a uh, lot of people some of the initiatives that we can do for instance is that key to as in this global era like the other day day we had very interesting uh, you know this particular university in indonesia they had organized a 21 days course on peace and conflict resolution a global course and it was free of cost but they got some really great resource persons from different parts of the world and also the participants range from right from latin america to europe africa so those kind of interesting uh, you know online uh, 15 days kind of a capsule kind of a thing say on peace linguistics can be worked out there uh, with uh, with your day.
a very, very senior professor in the United States from the Virginia Tech University, Professor Henrik Jampolski. And he's ready. to have a session on resolving conflict from within. And he's a very interesting professor because his the Indian ethics uh, in his whole, uh, you know, uh, uh, work on conflict resolution. So we can work further on that on for September 21st. But these are some of the important things also. Like say, for instance, with the uh, Malvia Center for Peace Research, which has the only UNESCO chair on peace and intercultural understanding in the country, in the uh, Banaras Hindu University, we have been trying to promote different kinds of, uh, you know, interdisciplinary uh, studies related to Gandhian values and Gandhian ethics, like say, in the whole area of, say, mass communication, in the whole area, say, of education, like we've been working with different universities, possibly you also have a Department of Education in your university. So here we can talk on how we can uh, non-violent communication can should be an important ingredient of beard and emit, uh, you know, beard and emit programs. That is something very, very important. So these are some of the very important things. And as we go on, we can have further discussions on how we can make concretize some of these efforts and so that we can work further so uh, we would love to uh, work you know in a big way with the university and hopefully in the coming days we will have some very very interesting programs to have thank you very much once again Thank you so much, sir, for providing a very clear presentation on what the collaboration would lead to and also for giving a clear idea about Gandhi Smriti and Darshan Smriti. Thank you so much, sir. And now it's time for the guest of honor address. And the guest of honor today, as ma'am had uh, said, she is Professor Dr. Mirati Sundar Rajan. Professor Dr. Mirati Sundar Rajan is a consultant on copyright law and a visiting professor at the UC Davis Law School in California. Professor Mira holds a doctorate in intellectual property law from the Oxford University. Her scholarly books include Moral Rights, Principles, Practice, and New Technology, published by the Oxford University in the year 2011. Mira was a prof professor Mira was a professor of intellectual property law at the University of Glasgow in the year 2013 to 2017, where she directed the LLM in the intellectual property in digital environment. She has previously held the Canadian Research Chair in the Intellectual Property Law at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, Canada from 2004 to 2011, where she was also a tenured Associate Professor of Law and the Founding Director of IP Law Program at the UBC. She is a great granddaughter of our Mahakavi Subramanya Bharati, whose namesake is this prestigious institution that we are a part of. Professor Meera, because of the differences in the time zone, is not able to join us in person, but has sent a recorded message with the permission of all the dignitaries, I would like to play the video message. Granddaughter of Mahakavi Subramanya Bharati. And I am very pleased to be able to join you tonight on the auspicious occasion of the opening of your new Center for Peace Studies. In fact, it's difficult for me to explain how thrilled I am to be part of this amazing launch. And I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the Vice Chancellor of Bharatiya University. but I'm happy to provide invited me to participate in this event. Thank you all very much. Unfortunately, due to the time difference, I'm unable to participate live, but I'm happy to provide this small video message to convey my presence and my good wishes on this occasion. Mahatma Gandhi and Mahakavi Bharati, two great national heroes, who have given us as Indians and people of Indian origin more than we can ever express. 
our gratitude for. Their gifts are simply beyond measure. And they met once, and I wanted to tell that story briefly. It is a story that I've heard from my mother, who also wrote about it in her biography of Bharati. My mother was Dr. S. Vijaya Bharati, the granddaughter of the Mahakavi and a pioneering scholar of his works as well as his life. And she describes the incident that in March 1919, Gandhiji had come to South India as part of his national activities and he was staying with C. Rajagopalachari, Rajaji. And the Mahakavi Bharati went to visit Gandhiji at the house of Ji. And his purpose in going there was very simple and important to him. Bharati was actually organizing a meeting the following day and he was very much hoping that Gandhiji could find the time to come and be at his meeting and bless. He went straight to uh, Gandhiji when he entered the room and asked him to be able to attend the meeting on the following day where Bharati would be speaking. And Gandhiji immediately consulted with his secretary and found that he had another engagement. So he asked Bharati, could the meeting be postponed? And Bhartya then replied, unfortunately, that cannot be done, but I, I thank you and give my blessings to your work and to your movement. And so saying, he actually left the company. At that point, Gandhiji was very much intrigued, and he turned to Rajaji and asked him, who was this man? And Rajaji explained to him, oh, this is one of our important Tamil national poets, and Gandhiji replied then, good care must be taken of this man. One can only imagine what a remarkable event this must have been, the meeting of two such great people and great souls. And in fact, as my mother has also written, there was a tremendous like-mindedness between these two great Indian national figures. For us today, with the benefit of some historical distance and enjoying the happy time of Indian freedom, which in fact was never known to Bharati, of course, since he passed away in 1921, we are able to look back now and truly appreciate the harmony between the thinking of the Mahakavi and our great Mahatma. Both of them believed absolutely in not only the national struggle, but in the basic principles of human dignity, human rights, and human freedom, which they felt that they should also be struggling for alongside freedom from British rule at that time. They believed in a basic principle of human equality, and both of them were equally committed to that principle. I think perhaps one of the few great figures who is equal to Gandhiji in his passion for equality was actually Mahakavi Bharati, who believed absolutely in equality of every kind, gender equality, caste equality, and of course, equality among the different peoples of the world. It's therefore most appropriate to anyone who knows the first thing about Mahakavi Bharati, of course, that this wonderful Center for Peace Studies should unite Bharati with Mahatma Gandhi. And again, it's a great thrill for me to be present in some manner at the launch of this incredible undertaking. I'll conclude by saying that the timing of the launch also appears to me to be particularly appropriate because on September 11th, 2021, it will be exactly 100 years since Subramanian Bharati passed away. And this, I think, is a very important anniversary because in the past hundred years, Bharatiya's fame has grown exponentially and his works have continued to live and in fact taken on a new life through the reading, enjoyment, and wondering, and amazement of all of the people who have come afterwards who have been able to read and appreciate his genius as a poet and a thinker. 
It's my great privilege that on the occasion of this 100th anniversary, I have been able to bring out a new book which has just been published, a collection of Bantua's original writings in the English language, and most appropriately that is being published as a Penguin modern classic. The fascinating thing about this book is that Bharati wrote so much in English across so many different areas that interested him and all of the great concerns that come out in his Tamil writings about equality of caste and gender, about freedom, about all of the Advaitic principles of life that he believed in so deeply. All of those topics are addressed by him in English as well. And so it's a beautiful collection where we can see the unique personality of the poet in all its multifaceted nature. One of the things that this book will help us to do is to make Bharatiya's thought and his words accessible to people all across India and indeed around the world, even if they are not able to read Tamil and thereby come to know Subramaniam Bharati. He is able to reach them also equally truly and equally powerfully, I would say, through the English language. And I hope that in our collaborations in the future, the sharing of Bharati's writings in English and teaching of those writings will also be an important part of the educational mission that you take forward. And of course, of the new burgeoning study of peace that is now beginning at the university. Thank you for, very much for giving me the opportunity to say these few words to you and to participate from across the oceans in this important new project. I wish you all the best and I'm sure that you have the blessings of the great people in whose name you are beginning this work. Thank you so much and uh, blessings on everyone. Good night. Uh, thank you so much, Mira, ma'am. Even though we are not uh, personally in the meeting, we have to thank you a lot and thank you for beautifully connecting uh, our founder, our, our namesake founder, uh, Bharati and uh, Mahatma. And you have beautifully given a beautiful incident about their life and the incident that happened. Thank you so much, ma'am. And we would like to assure everybody that the uh, the presence of Dr. Mira will not just end with this meeting. Her collaboration with the department will continue and will lead to more successful ventures. So thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, moving on to the next address. Uh, now it's the time for the chief guest address. I would like to invite Professor Shankar Sanyal, the son of late Acharya Dr. Sailendranath Sanyal, who was a philosopher of rep repute and an activist of the Quit India Movement of 1942. Professor Sanyal has been the honorary secretary of the West Bengal branch of Harijan Sevak Sank, founded by Mahatma Gandhi himself in the year 1932. He was one of the founders of the Haura Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Mentored by the late Patma Vibhushan, Ms. Nirmala Deshpande, the spiritual daughter of Arch Acharya Vinobhave. His persevering efforts was rewarded by the Ministry of MSME, the Government of India and the National Institute of Design with the opening of a regional centre for design clinic in the West Eastern Zone in Kolkata and has also been appointed as a chairman of the Regional Monitoring Committee for the Eastern and the Northeastern region of National Institute of Design, Ahmedabad. He is currently serving as a president of the All India Harijan Sevak Sangh and he is also the executive member of the Gandhi Smriti and Darshan Samiti. It's a very, it's a pleasure to have you among us, sir. Please, I request you to deliver your chief guest address. Namaskar. Good morning, everybody. I just like to convey my best wishes to the Vice Chancellor, Dr. P. Kaliraj, University of Bharati, uh, Bharatiya University. Coimbatore and the doctor Ashista Bhargish, Dr. P. Nagaraj, Deepankar Sigan, the dynamic director of Gandhi Siti and Darshan Shamiti, and Dr. Bedabash Kundu, who is the, really uh, doing a very good work in this field to spread the message of Mahatma Gandhi 
in different parts of the country and abroad. Dr. Meera Shundar Rajan and B Dr. B. Padbonabhan and others. I'm glad to know that Gandhi City and Darshan Samiti, under the aegis of Ministry of Culture, Government of India, headed by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi as its chairman, and the Departmental Minister is the vice chairman. I, being the executive committee member of this institute, that this Gandhi City and Darshan Samiti, these. Uh, in this pandemic COVID-19 situation has done a great job throughout the country and connected so many organizations, institutions and universities all over the world. It is a great job and they are trying to percolate the message to the masses about Gandhi's love, uh, peace, harmony, uh, and universal brotherhood, compassion, all this message they want to percolate. I am also glad that they have um, came in contact with Bharati uh, University uh, in the name of Shubramaniam Bharati, who was an eminent Tamil writer, poet, journalist, Indian independence activist, social reformer, and popularly known as Mahakavi Bharati, great poet Bharati. Obviously, he was a pioneer of modern Tamil poetry and considered one of the greatest Tamil literary figures of all time. His numerous works include fairy songs, and living partisan even during the Indian independence movement, he fought to for the emancipation of women against child marriage, stood reforming Brahmanism and religion. He was also the solidarity with Dalits and Muslims, which is the main thrust of Mahatma Gandhi also. Recently we celebrated the 150 birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. But his relevance is present in every sphere of our daily life. And it will continue till the last day of catastrophe. I am really overwhelmed to associate with Gandhi, Sriti and Darshan Shabiti, who are collaborating with this great university of, uh, in the name of uh, Mahakabhi. So, uh, we have to do something concrete for the cause of the society. And they have started introducing some uh, certificate courses with this university. It is high time to re relate Gandhiji in every sphere of modern life and create an environment of peace, tranquility and harmony where there will be no discrimination, color, caste, creed, and sex, which has been universally accepted. Materializing this dream of Gandhiji would be the real tribute to him on his uh, on his uh, on his birthday or other times also. Now the University came forward with GSDS. They want to start a new course for the young generation, and we believe in this figure, this situation that on the sacred motherland is a land of religion and philosophy, the birthplace of spiritual giants, the land of renunciation where and where alone, from the most ancient to the most modern times. There has been the highest idols of life open to man. Each nation has a theme, everything else is secondary. India's theme is religion. Social reform and everything else are secondary. Thus, uh, uh, Swami Vivekananda also. 
it, it is unique in Indian history that three millennium leaders like Bharati, Gandhiji, Rabindranath Tagore, Swami Vivekananda, they reach their excellence in their own fields unrelated to one another, which might have influenced one's thought over the others. We all remember them separately from separate angles. And we consider, we all remember them, uh, them our special leader unmatched in the annals of Indian history. Subramanian Bharati and his university is doing excellent uh, work in the field of education. This English department of the university and the foreign language department, they introduce so many subject for the young generation. Young generation should come forward with this initiative and we should take the advantage of the university's expertise and the Gandhi City Darshan's expertise, particularly Dr. Dipankar Sigan and Dr. Bishop Bhadabhash Kundu, they are really doing an excellent Lee, propagating the message to the masses of Gandhi and Vinoba Ji. And this is a time, high time, we must percolate this message. And in this field, uh, I welcome the collaboration with the university and I hope it will go a long way for the greater cause of our motherland. As you know, the Horizon Shebok Shang, which was founded by Mahatma Gandhi in 1932, it is the iconic institution. This was founded by Gandhiji, not only founded, the constitution of the organization was written by him and the correction also done by himself. And this is our lively organization working throughout the country and even in the South Zone, South India, there are grassroots level organization in this organization. And we are working in Chakkar Bapa institution in Chennai and Madurai. There are so many institutions running in Kerala. So we hope the Ghanaian people should come forward and join this endeavor of Gandhi City and Darshan and the university and to assist, support and cooperate with their endeavor for the great cause uh, of the society, particularly for the younger generation, those who want to come in this field, social work or uh, reformation, which was the first and foremost aim of Mahakavi and Gandhiji. They both want to create a new environment in the country. And their ideas and ideals we should follow. I am glad I am able to participate in this webinar, though it is, it was not, though they have already sent me the subject, but I was in Delhi, I have not seen the, yeah, Bedobas ji contacted when I was in airport yesterday night, and I came here, and I have seen, this is a great subject. I was not prepared what to say, but I want that it should go a long way for the greater cause of the society and your university, which is named uh, in Mahakavi and Gandhiji's organization, Gandhiji's uh, institution are connected with you. This is a great opportunity for all of us, I hope. I, once again, 
I convey my gratitude to all of you, those who are a scholar in this field, and those who spoke very nicely about this program and these activities and your and your naturally I hope I will be able to come once again in your program and when I will be in South, I will try to visit your institution, university also like other university I visited, I also hope to join your programs. Recently, you also organized so many programs with different universities. Gandhi in New Era and Gandhi City and Darshan also part, of parcel, part and parcel of this. Thank you once again. Namaskar to you. Thank you so much, sir. And as you had mentioned, we are very much happy to have you, your presence in the university also, sir. Thank you so much for gracing this occasion. And as you had mentioned, let us all hope the messages of peace and non-violence by both Gandhi and Bharati let reach every person in this country and let this collaboration be an aid to it. Thank you so much, sir. And now moving on to the vote of thanks, I would like to welcome the Assistant Professor, Dr. B. Bhattanavan, sir, to propose a vote of thanks. Sir? Thank you, uh, Yadu. Professor of uh, Bharatiya University, respected uh, registrar, respected uh, Sri Dipankar uh, Sri Gayan, respected Dr. Uh, Vayad Bias Gundu, respected Dr. Meera T. Sundar Rajan, uh, respected Dr. Shankar Kumar, uh, Kumar Sanyal, uh, all the guests of honors, and uh, our uh, professor and head. Uh, Dr. Ashida Vargis, the coordinator of uh, the Center for Literary and Cultural Studies, the coordinator of this event, uh, dear colleagues, students and scholars. So I feel immensely happy to propose the vote of thanks for uh, this one-of-a-kind uh, initiative that was taken by our uh, department. So only a uh, few months ago, no, we have initiated um, the creation of uh, centers and uh, that creation has now um, offered one of the best results, uh, I could say, that you know, we have collaborated with one of the very uh, uh, very significant and premier institutes, establishments of um, uh, India, and also for offering uh, a very important um, course at this time. You know, um, uh, when Gandhi was uh, needed, more than any other time, you know, so the, the country, the world is requiring is um, uh, needing the preachings of uh, Mahatma that we have initiated this wonderful uh, collaboration with the uh, Gandhian uh, Study Center. So uh, this will bear fruits. You no, know, in uh, in the uh, times to come, you no, know, we will have uh, many more such collaborations modeled on this. So uh, whenever we out for uh, collaboration. No, such a collaboration with the Ministry of Culture, with the uh, establishments that uh, has the lineage with the Mahakavi and uh, with Acharya Vinoba Bhavi is uh, uh, not a thing, uh, not, not an ordinary thing, it is, it's quite serious. And so, uh, this has fixed a model for all the other centers that we have established to have collaborations of uh, this nature. To, uh, with the significant uh, institutions, with the government organizations. So uh, I must thank uh, our professor and head, uh, uh, the coordinator of uh, uh, the center, uh, Dr. Ashida, for uh, for this initiative. Our sincere uh, uh, thanks to uh, our honorable vice chancellor, as he has mentioned in his um, uh, in the presidential address, that he has given us such an ambience such a wonderful academic ambience uh, that we can uh, uh, go for any collaboration. Now, that is the first thing that he advises going for uh, uh, collaborations, exploring new possibilities of introducing uh, industry-oriented um, uh, education. So um, uh, that was uh, the motivation, the 
real motivation behind the uh, success of this department uh, is uh, from our honorable vice chancellor so i thank our honorable vice chancellor for uh, giving us such wonderful opportunities uh, and um, uh, giving us help to explore new possibilities and our thanks to respected registrar uh, for all the support that he renders to the department and um, uh, we must thank uh, dr uh, shri dipankar shri gayan uh, the director of gandhi smriti and the uh, darshan smriti uh, for uh, having a collaboration also they their help in uh, in the collaboration it's a real honor for uh, the department to have uh, the collaboration with the uh, gandhi uh, smriti so uh, uh, on behalf of the department i thank you sir for your uh, uh, support and uh, uh, motivation so our sincere thanks to um, dr meera d uh, sundar rajan the great granddaughter of uh, mahakavi bharati you know uh, who's Uh, lineage that we are um, uh, so proud of and uh, for uh, being here for for such a wonderful message that she has uh, uh, delivered no it is it is really uh, uh, yeah, a very informative as well as uh, very thoughtful uh, message that she has uh, delivered no uh, our sincere thanks to dr meera t sundar rajan our sincere thanks to uh, dr Ved Bias Gundu, the program officer of uh, GSTS, for uh, elaborating uh, the possibilities and um, uh, the courses, the activities, you know, the possible activities that uh, he has given such a wonderful presentation of what can be done with this uh, collaboration uh, on behalf of uh, the department, on behalf of the university. Uh, I thank you, sir, for uh, your uh, elaborate uh, presentation on the possibilities of this uh, collaboration. and uh, the most significant thing so um, uh, on behalf of uh, all the faculty members on the board of the club i express my sincere gratitude uh, to respected dr shankar kumar uh, sanyal uh, the senior gandhian uh, and uh, a follower of acharya vinoba bhave uh, the president of uh, harijan sevak sang for such a blessing that uh, you have given that uh, you have uh, pointed out what are all the uh, necessity uh, what are all the necessary elements that are to be followed from the gandhian principles and you have also pointed out that why gandhi uh, the, the father of the nation is the preachings of gandhi is required in the present scenario uh, so more than uh, uh, the thought provoking uh, uh, words we uh, I believe that uh, uh, you have blessed us by your uh, presence here sir uh, so on behalf of all the faculty members on behalf of uh, our students and uh, now the students may also have you no know, we follow in our department uh, that uh, we are not creating only uh, students who are academically successful that we strive continuously strive to create people uh, who are socially committed uh, who are uh, holistic Uh, in all their approaches no uh, we don't uh, prefer we don't uh, approach only for an academic success a, a pass in an examination but uh, we wanted to create uh, uh, students as uh, citizens responsible citizens committed to the upliftment of the society so um, uh, your blessing your presence and your blessing in this uh, forum uh, is such a sincere thing thank you very much for your uh, presence sir. and uh, i have to thank uh, all the faculty members uh, my professor and head dr p nagraj for um, uh, giving us all the opportunities you know uh, whenever we approach him for uh, anything uh, without any hesitation that uh, he will uh, help us and uh, the support that uh, he provides uh, is the one uh, which helps us to improve ourselves and to uh, help us to contribute more to the department so thank you very much sir for your uh, 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 support and uh, guiding us in all our uh, endeavors and uh, uh, our sincere uh, appreciation and uh, thanks to uh, dr ashita wagis for this effort that now we are trying in our department we are trying many things but um, uh, this kind of an mou this kind of a collaboration will uh, will bring a lot of 
expertise into our uh, department and also this will give uh, so much of visibility to our department in the uh, national and global uh, scenario and uh, for all your efforts um, in, in making this uh, collaboration possible uh, we appreciate you and uh, uh, thank you for all the uh, sincere efforts that you have taken to make this possible and uh, my sincere thanks to all my uh, colleagues dr david arbudraj dr vinod uh, uh, kumar uh, dr kasirajan for uh, supporting the department in all the endeavors and uh, uh, next it is the uh, students and scholars you know, who actually uh, so uh, make this department proud in all uh, attempts you no know, be it examinations or uh, any activities cultural activities or Uh, any such collaborative activities it is because of the students and scholars that we stand tall we stand tall uh, so uh, i thank all the students and scholars for your um, uh, sincere participation and uh, sincere efforts in making this department a successful one and uh, i thank all of you all the participants of this meeting uh, for being here and uh, supporting us in all our endeavors thank you thank you all Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we have formally come to the end of this program. As a part of the host, I would like to thank everyone who were present virtually.